Virgos, hey my love, love, love beings, welcome to your daily messages. Virgos, say my loves, hey, hey my loves, hey, hey my loves. Sing it with me one time, sing Virgos, say my loves, hey my loves. I hope y'all are doing well. It's Empress Meek, your spiritual guide. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And all you do for our channel. Let's see, Virgos. And thank you for all your purchases and everything you're doing. Keeping me booked. Buying all the bracelets and everything. I really appreciate you guys' support and your love. All right, I'm sending you love right back. Let's go ahead and dive in to see what messages Spirit has for you today, Virgo. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Spirit, show me clear messages for my Virgos today. Thank you for blocking and bonding on negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness. Thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow, and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Thank you so, so much. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's see what Sarah has for you today, Virgos. Under the bottom of the deck, we got deceit here. So that could be somebody in your energy that may be trying to deceive you, an imposter, a fraud, somebody that you are trying to figure out what their motives are. Somebody that is very um, cunning, all right? This person is very strategic and there could be somebody trying to stab you in your back or do something underhanded that is in your energy, okay? This could even be somebody that you just met, all right? But let's take a look at these cards here and see exactly what Spirit wants to tell you today. So a lot of cards came out. We got seventh chakra here. So this is you balancing your crown chakra, all right? This is you being in tune with the divine so you can get the downloads that you are um, needing to help you move forward. This is something that, and then again, this may be, hold on, let me double check, Virgo, because either this is your crown chakra or this is the mind, balancing your thoughts and your energy. And I feel like, okay, so this is, this is the seventh chakra is um, the chakra that balances your mind, your thoughts, all right? The things that you're thinking about yourself, okay? Where doubt comes in and um, confusion with this five at the top of this card, balancing the chakra, clearing your mind, thinking things through, taking a step back um, so you can look and review a situation. That's what this chakra is telling you about, Okay. Let's see what else came out. So Blossom and Abundance is here. I feel like you guys are going through a major change. Uh, I feel like this is something amazing that is going on in your life right now. I feel like you got a lot of different um, options. And Virgo, some of you could have been waiting for some money to come in, waiting for opportunities. I feel like you have been doing your best to hold back negative thinking um, and trying to stay strong and move forward. But I do see you finally obtaining this particular thing that you've been asking spirit for there is some type of wish that is about to be granted but i'm feeling to tell you that it's very important that you stay focused and um don't get distracted mentally clear that confusion and those thoughts of doubt that may be trying to sneak in so that's what spirit is telling you because you do have something positive here that's trying to come in you also have somebody that could be working against you behind the scenes. This could be a coworker, a friend, or anybody um, that may be working to, against you. Some of you, um, honestly, sometimes you could be your own worst enemy with these thoughts and things like that. You could be feeling like somebody is um, deceiving you, but really it's just that you need to think things through and see things for what it is. But overall energy, it is some deception here. It definitely is. Somebody trying to sneak in. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So I feel like this fourth chakra, this is, hold on. Let's find out what this fourth chakra is bring, is balancing. Let's look at the book for this one because I want to make sure that I'm telling you the right one for this fourth chakra. I'm still learning these cards, guys. So I just want to make sure that we're looking at the right one. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. So you can understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so this has something to do with love and compassion and self-acceptance. So not only do you have to mind what you're thinking and mind the thoughts that you have surrounding money, 
Some of you could be thinking negative about your money situation, like saying that you don't have it, you're not going to get it, you can't achieve this, you can't achieve that, and it's important that you not do that right now. So with the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, this card extends, okay, so let's see. So this says this card is about pink waves and green and pink waves that surround your heart center. This card upright indicates you now have greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. So this is you finally healing, finally healing your heart. And this is you guarding your emotions, making sure that you um, are being kind to yourself and nurturing to yourself. It could also indicate much needed healing from a previous broken heart. Um, is taking place so you guys are being healed right now some of you are healed um, and you feel this change where you're more receptive to new people um, you're talking to yourself better and for some of you you need to um, have a compassionate self-talk you know um, with yourself the same thing that you desire to hear from others it's time for you to talk to yourself and speak that to yourself all right um, this card is saying know that as you do this the light from your heart center will shine and irresistible beauty and the universe will send people in situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. So basically, the more you open your heart and be receptive to others coming in and giving you love um, and you being loving, um, you being kind, you receive kindness is basically telling you about the laws of attraction. You are what you portray. You get back whatever you give out. So make sure you're sending out positive vibes to the universe, high vibrations, healing energy, being kind, being loving, turning the other cheek. All right. And then we have this goddess of the moon card. Um, so I feel like with this moon energy, you're getting some type of clarity here about situations that are around you. Maybe there's a need for you to seek answers. Um, this is a, re a reflective time for you. All right. Um, let's see. This card is all about intuition, exactly. So clarity, um, reflecting, using your intuition to see through things, all right? Receive, it says upright. This card is telling you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. So this is a card suggesting that you use your intuition in all things. Um, I feel like there's a lot of possibilities. Look at this. You got the door to personal healing and happiness here. All right, and this is talking about you being healed, coming coming um, a long way and finally making it to this door of abundance and it's now open for you. This is talking about you getting blessings. I feel like these blessings of abundance are blessings and energy here to come to change your life. Not only is your intuition being enhanced because you asked for it, these doors are being opened because you earned it. Virgo, I feel like you've been working hard. You went through a lot. Um, people don't even understand all the things that you've been through because you spend a lot of time suffering in silence, but spirit knows. God definitely knows all you've been through, Virgo, and I feel like all the tears you cried and all the pain that you had to suffer over this time, you deserve this, okay? You definitely deserve this. Let me see. So for door to personal healing and happiness, I do want to read some of this to you, all right? Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up and new possibilities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure that you see your personal um, intentions through Make sure you see your personal intentions through. So that means make sure you go for whatever it is you set out for. So whatever it is, if you want a new place, make sure you go and reach for it. Whatever your goals are, reach for them so the universe can respond to you in a positive way. All right. It says the changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and op optimistic expectations. All right, so that's very, very important, okay? So use your intuition to come bring these things into you. See yourself doing it. Balance your heart. Make sure you're in a positive place. Make sure you're content. Make sure you're grateful for the things that are already working in your life. And it's gonna come, Virgo. It's right here, okay? Let's move on to patience. So we all know what patience is saying. You definitely need to be patient at this time and allow the universe to work in your favor, 
All right, it says it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. It says don't try to force your will on only one option. So don't put your eggs all in one basket. It says when you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need and make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. It says let go of the anxiety and be flexible, be patient, open and creative. It says choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective, and let them come through. This is beautiful. See, this is why I wanted to read these cards for you. It's not a mistake that all of these popped out. Somebody definitely needs to hear this today. And we're going to read this deception card, this deceit card, to see exactly what Spirit is trying to tell you. All right? So this door to adjacent possibilities is open for you. Okay? Unlike the indecision card, with which indicates confusion, um, this card basically is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make decisions and bring happiness, strength, and forward motion. Okay? In terms of your goals, this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas. So definitely look at these things that you may be missing. Think about it, brainstorm, and see what comes towards you because it's a perfect time to tap in. It says perhaps there's a marketing tool that you haven't thought of or a connection you haven't tapped into or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. It says be conscious and be aware of flex and be flexible and willing to take new and different actions now. All right, because this door is open. These are things that you didn't even really think of. Things that, that are right here for you and you have the power to open these doors and go through, okay? Now, last but not least, let's see what this deceit card is here for, all right? I like these cards a lot, okay? Let's see. So with this deceit card, this could be regarding a personal issue like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others. Or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated, okay? Be aware of what's going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is also holding the bag of something valuable. Mm-hmm, snakes. So watch your money and your good name and make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and secure. A deeper layer, a deeper layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Exactly, I felt that. It, is there something that you're lying to yourself about? In this case, a bag of valuables may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, even leisure time, okay? Think about that. It says, whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that you, that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your en energy is surrounded in self-deceit. Okay, so make sure you cleanse your energy like I was saying. Make sure you pay attention to these people around you, snakes that may be trying to steal your ideas. Um, just do things like that that are deceptive, trying to hinder your finances. And make sure that you are cleansing your energy and not lying to yourself about anything. Just like this card said, that was deep, okay? That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I want to put a card out on each of these and let's see exactly what's going on in these areas, okay? So let's find out. Angel of Love is here, guiding you, loving you, sending you positive energy, okay? So let's see. Let's put a card on this. Let's clarify this. We're going to go ahead and get the tarot and see exactly what Spirit may be talking about in these situations. Let's see if there is something that comes out that definitely tells you more so you can know what to do, what's surrounding you, and what, like, what else you need to know. So let's see. But I definitely feel a lot of positive energy. And I feel that it's definitely time for overcoming. It's time for these situations to resolve. It's time for you to walk through these doors because you deserve it. It's been a long time coming. And this is going to blow your mind. All right? I feel like these opportunities, your, your whole life is changing. All right? This, this situation that you went through that you thought was going to just be the end was only the beginning of a brand new life and all these beautiful opportunities. Sure, I feel like a lot of you have experienced some things on a level that people can't imagine. 
And honestly, Spirit is here to tell you that a job well done, okay? You didn't give up. All right. And not only that, you're going to be wealthy as long as you continue to go down these paths. Show me seventh chakra. Why is it here for my Virgo with this confusion? All right. So a lot of you are, are dealing with a huge change. The tower, sudden upheaval, your life changing things, that things that, you know, as far as everyday life, just changing on you. And it has you guarded and defensive. So spirit is telling you, be careful what you tell yourself. Have the confidence to move forward with the nine of wands. Energy is, is talking about confidence, strength, fortitude. It's talking about you being a war, wounded warrior going through hell. Look at this tower. You were in there and you made it out. Okay. Spirit is saying, be strong, be resilient and continue on because you have these blessings coming and it's not time to fold. Okay. Now is not the time. So mind your thinking. Let's see what this deceptive energy is. What is this deceit spirit for my Virgo? High priestess energy. So there could be some, it could be something with your intuition. Something having to do with your intuition and then the hangman energy. So there could be a high priestess or some type of magician doing magic. Maybe trying to drain your energy. Somebody sending you bad energy. Something having to do with the Pisces. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck here. All right. And a lot of you, I feel like your, your mind, your thoughts, you could be keeping yourself trapped with all, you know, tapping in too much or anything like that. Let's see. Show me one more on the high priestess. Wow. Six of swords moving away from confusion, arguments, fights, conflict. Yeah. I feel like you're turning the, I feel like there is somebody in your energy and it could be a water sign energy. And I feel like this person is against you. I feel like this person is trying to cheat you, trying to be deceptive in some type of way. They're trying to keep you stuck, make you lose money. They're trying to do something here. But I feel like you're moving away from that. You're being protected from that energy. You're moving on, moving away, moving away from this energy and being confident moving forward. I feel like you're not giving this person or these people the time of day. And if this is your own mental thinking and you're trying to um, look at too many readings or something here is making you stuck mentally, all right? And you have to be careful who you're taking readings from and whose energy you're in because not everybody is on your side. Not everybody really cares about you. Some people just want to drain you and keep you coming back or keep you stuck to them. So definitely be careful. I'm getting to tell you that here. Six of swords, move away from the confusion, move away from the arguing, move away from the bitterness, the bickering, and somebody being underhanded, trying to attack you underhandedly. All right, that's the six of swords energy, finding calmer waters, moving on, the calmer waters away from the conflict. So door to personal healing and happiness for my Virgo, show me clearly. Recognize victory, and this is why they're mad. This is why this deception is here. Somebody is pissed. That you're being successful, you're moving forward, you're becoming abundant, you're rising to the top um, against all odds, you're still persevering. I feel like you are killing the competition and they're pissed. It's a lot of people that aren't happy and be careful because this high priestess energy is somebody that uses magic. This is the keeper of secrets. This could also mean... Um, this could also be somebody spiritual. I am a high priestess. God is with me. It's supposed to be positive. But sometimes people don't use their magic and their gifts the right way. All right? You have to use your spiritual gifts according to the divine law, the divine will. Like not against it and not manipulating the energies, which is what this evil person looks like they're doing here. Somebody is definitely trying to keep you stuck. Why? Because you're becoming more successful. This person is jealous and upset. Okay, you see that? All right, so be careful. And this person could feel like some kind of way you betrayed them. So they don't care. They want to drain your energy. They want to take your money. So they're going to continue to use whatever they can to keep you coming back. Time to move away from that energy. And it could be a job. Could be anything. And if it's you watching too many readings, letting that guide you instead of tapping into the divine first, time to move away from all that. Okay? It's just keeping you stuck. 
All right, so be careful what you're doing and who you're letting pour into you. All right, so door to personal healing and happiness. Recognize victory here, six of wands. This is persevering. This is people cheering you on. They're proud of you, happy for you. This is you making it, all right? This is you becoming extremely successful, all right? With this, <laughs> this door of abundance, you're getting everything you want. This is your dreams coming true. You being the victor. After all the stuff you've been through, you're the, you're the champion. You're on top. All right, you're winning the race. You are winning. You're victorious, okay? Show me more, please. Blossom in abundance. This can be after you felt like something was a missed opportunity here. You decided to go for it. You decided not to overthink it, not to spend too much time doubting yourself, and you went in and went for it, okay? Show me blossom in abundance here for the Virgo. Blossom in abundance. Wow. Okay. You're balancing this. So your life is changing. This abundance is helping you balance um, emotionally. It's helping you balance your finances, balancing your life. So everything is coming back into balance for you. The two of pentacles talks about balancing. It talks about juggling finances. Queen of wands offer us fiery energy. Okay. Being, um, this is being self-assured, being confident, Going out and not taking no for an answer. This is you um, winning against the adversaries. This is you um, being just confident and believing in yourself and knowing that you're going to make it and you actually make it. The Queen of Wands energy is a go-getter, a self-starter, somebody who believes in themselves and they accomplish everything they set out to accomplish. So I feel like male or female, you're in this Queen of Wands energy. And I feel like after this is after somebody that you love deceived you. Somebody could have been doing magic, trying to keep you trapped. I feel like you you moved on. You believed in yourself with the nine of wands energy, moved on away from all that conflict and strife, or you will be moving on. Um, Knight of Swords energy, you decided to go for what you believe, take a, take a chance. And I feel like this is how you attain this six of wands energy, okay? So I feel like that's what you were moving from. Something that felt like a missed opportunity. Somebody could have been reckless, um, negative or whatever. But I feel like you moved away from that energy. Yeah. After feeling left out in the cold, absolutely. Somebody here also feels, feels left out in the cold or they felt like they got left out in the cold. Healing from heartbreak here with this um, heart chakra card needing balance. So I feel like you're healing from that. Show me more. What's the outcome, Spirit? The outcome is new love. The outcome is healing. The star card, okay? So you're going to be healing from this situation. Not only that, you're going to be elevated, all right? You're going to be in a higher energy than what you are now. This is Spirit, the divine, bringing you balance. This is you getting um, desire, des being desired by many People loving you, pouring into you so much that you have more to pour out into the world. All right. This is your cups overflowing with healing energy, love and positive energy. All right. Not only that, you're going to get love, true love, somebody that really loves you and that's going to meet you halfway. I feel like for my divine feminine, this is a divine masculine, the love that you asked for. All right. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but I feel like this is just love. Um, and for my men, for my divine masculines, you're going to get a go-getter, a self-starter, not somebody lazy, somebody that sets out to do things and they get it. Somebody that can compliment you well, okay? Somebody fiery and ambitious with great ideas, good planning, good sense. They keep a good home. They're a nurturer, somebody that takes good care of their partner. All right, so you're going to have that. Goddess of the moon, this clarity and using your intuition is going to bring you nine of cups, wish fulfillment, okay? So it's important, all right? So you're going to get this nine of cups energy. This is talking about your wishes being fulfilled, all right? Um, page of swords, so there could be somebody spying on you, all right? Or this is you seeking information which you don't know, all right? This is you looking into things, doing some studying, doing your research. The page of um, swords is a student. A novice, somebody that does research, somebody that is very intellectually witty, also very intelligent, all right, um, smart enough to do some research. So Spirit is saying, do your research, look up some things, time for you to study, okay? Um, there is some type of um, 
some type of collaboration here for you. All right, could be a new job, but this is gonna be better. It's gonna be something to celebrate about, okay? And this could be after a trying time. You gotta make this decision. Go down this path. Spirit is saying, I need you to go down this path, okay? Let's see what else with the patience card. Patience, while I bless you. Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving. Also talks about abundance and um, blessings from God. Blessings of money. This is talking about you getting money and giving. Be a giver while you're receiving, okay? This is also talking about God, like I said, blessing you, bringing you more than enough. This is other people that doubted you or did you wrong waiting while God blesses you, okay? So this is Spirit bringing this in for you. So be patient while these good things happen. You are going to be abundant. You're going to be taken care of. You're going to be self-assured. Um, this is self-assured, confident energy. This energy here is talking about you achieving your goals, having financial security, almost at the 10 of pentacles and you're at the nine by yourself, meaning you don't need anybody to complete you. If somebody gets added onto your life, it's just a gift and a blessing. So you can have some company while you explore these amazing opportunities, but you're already whole and complete by yourself and this is what spirit was waiting for you to show before you come and bring before he brings somebody else in your energy show me adjacent possibilities i feel like these new opportunities are going to change your life like this is life changing the moon things that you don't see um this is talking about seeking what's beneath the veil what's beneath the surface this moon energy talks about illumination all right. It talks about you getting clarity. So this moon energy is also talking about facing your dark side. It's talking about paying attention to your dreams. Okay. Things are being illuminated to you. So pay attention to your dreams. The things that you already set out to do is here for you. This, these doors are opening with this adjacent possibilities in the moon. Spirit definitely wants you to pay attention to your dreams. It's time for you to pay attention to this. There's something here, a door that is waiting for you to go, to open it, to go down that path. Okay. To see what's there. Show me clearly. What else does Virgo need to know about this moon energy? Something about work, prospects, also working on yourself. Eight of Pentacles talks about diligent, being diligent, hardworking, studying and mastering your craft, making sure everything is right, making sure everything's come together. Continue to build your empire. It's like you're doing it. Everything is coming together just like you manifested. And it's more to go. It's more to learn. You got these these to do so these are adjacent opportunities and possibilities that need to be opened up this is what spirit is telling you to pay attention to it's other things that you said you wanted to do that are here for you and you you can do it just like you did this so definitely don't stop here okay continue to move forward keep going and i feel like it's somebody that's trying to betray you but don't worry you're gonna overcome every obstacle that you set out to overcome so continue to work at it let me get you a self-love affirmation card. Cleanse. You are water, cry, sweat, drink, soak, swim to refresh. So it's time to refresh your energy, cleanse yourself. Like I said, people could be sending negative energy your way because you're doing so well, but this none of their magic will work. So this witch, whoever this is trying to send you negative energy and keep you stuck is going to fail. All right, you're divinely protected and everything that you set out to do is going to be blessed, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. If you want a personal reading tailored more to your story, then go ahead and book me closer to number two, mydestiny.com. Or you can email me if you have any questions or need assistance with the booking process at closer, the number two, mydestiny, the number one at gmail.com. I love you so much, guys. Thank you for liking this video and sharing. And I will see you later. Bye, my.